Okay, so this week we're going to start talking about data visualization. Data visualization and summary. So this really comes to the core of what we are trying to accomplish this semester about. So suppose we've already collected and gathered our sample. Now that we have our data, can we analyze the data to be able to come to conclusions? So when we talk about statistics, we generally are thinking about things like maybe the mean, the median, mode, uh, standard deviation, standard deviation, maybe the range. We can actually go through and, oh, well, we can also add in like proportion. So we can go through and actually calculate all of these. Um, but just numbers um, can be, well, just numbers aren't as useful as being able to also visualize the data. And if we can use these hand in hand, uh, we can find, we can make really useful tools uh, that can help us find patterns. So some of these uh, data visualization uh, techniques that we are going to use. So for categorical data, we are going to use bar charts, bar charts, and pie charts. So these are very useful, like I said, for uh, categorical data. Categorical data. And then for our numerical data, we've actually got a slew of uh, different options. Now, to this week, we're going to really focus on two. Uh, we're going to focus on histograms and box plots. But we can also expand out in a little while. We can do scatter plots. We can do line graphs or just line, line graphs and, uh, and many others. And these are just kind of like the, the plain vanilla versions. Uh, if, if you watch the, uh, the podcast that, that I posted up on, uh, or the, rather the TED Talk, uh, there are lots of other unique ways that we can visualize data. And ultimately, we are doing data visualization, data summary, in order to better explain our data so that we can contextualize what's going on and actually make good decisions. So once again, this is for numerical data. And ultimately, with all of our data, we want to make good decisions. Uh, and these are ways that we can summarize the data and visualize the data to be able to help us make those decisions that we want to make.